Hey guys, Dead by Donna 3 here, back to do a quick DVD update. Um, I only have uh, four movies to show off in this update, but um, you know, I just wanted to go ahead and show off the, the DVDs that I had that I picked up over the past couple couple of days. Um, before I get into it, I just want to say some of these movies I've actually already owned before, but either they've been scratched up or I've lost them, or you know, something's happened to them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just get one. First one is a uh, Human Centipede, the original. It's the um, unrated director's cut. I got this uh, used at FYE for a few bucks. Um, like I said, I've actually had this movie before. Just uh, the disc just got scratched up, so I thought I'd go ahead and just pick up another one. But um, I really like that I, it has the uh, you know the clear see-through case. But the only thing that I don't like are these recyclable cases. I hate them so much. And um, one thing I do hate is uh, you don't see any other companies doing uh, DVD cases like that. But um, yeah, Human Centipede, pretty good movie. And like I said, this is just my second copy. It's really not in great condition, but I just picked it up cheap, so I just you know went and got it. Next one I'll show off is um, John Waters' Pink Flamingos. Um, got this off Amazon for like ten bucks, and like I said, um, I've seen it before, but I don't know what I did with it. I think I might have. Uh, I think I might have let a friend borrow it and I guess he might not have given it back but went ahead and picked this up you know it's not uh, it's a pretty pretty good movie like I said uh, really repulsive gross you know but you guys know what this is so you know I'm not going to get into it now, the next movie I show off is a movie I haven't seen yet and I haven't owned before and I'm really looking forward to checking it out I've heard a lot of people talk about it but um VHS which is a uh, horror anthology movie, or one of those found. It's a found footage film, which I'm not a big fan of found footage movies anymore. I mean, I was when they first started. You know, like I was a fan of Paranormal Activity. You know, I was. I'm a fan of Blair Witch, and I was a fan of Last Exorcism. I think were my favorite ones. But now that every single other horror movie that's coming out is like a found footage film, I'm getting kind of tired of them. But I've heard that this movie is actually really, really good and. It seems like a really cool idea to have a horror anthology type film as a uh, found footage, but yeah, picked this up at FYE again for like a few bucks. It was used, but um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to checking this out. I might actually do a review for this sometime this week. And the last film is another film that I've never seen before, and I've heard it's like one of the goriest movies ever. I've heard it's disturbing. I've heard I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's The Burning Moon. Um. Really nice uh, DVD. This is the uncut release put out by Intervision Films. Here's the back of it. Um, like I said, clear case and you know there's the disc. And uh, one thing I really like about this is that it has reversible cover art. And on the other side, you can actually see it has um, like it has the uh, skull from the original cover. And it just it looks really really cool. So I really really like this. And I will be definitely checking this one out. Like I said, I have not seen it, but I've heard really good stuff about it. I've heard it's really gory graphics, so definitely check it out. And um, I actually really like this, really like this packaging as well. This is my first, the first DD I ever got from Intervision Films, so be doing this, and I'll be doing a review for this again this week. But um, anyway, guys, not so much to show off in this update, but I just wanted to go and just get out the four movies that I, you know, that I've already picked up recently and um you know thanks for watching I'm, i'll be sure to do uh reviews for uh burning moon vhs and maybe pink flamingos just for anyone who's you know who still hasn't seen that film but i'm pretty sure more most people have seen the human centipede so i'm not going to pick it up i mean i'm not going to do a review of it but um anyway guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys later